Good afternoon, welcome, welcome to the grand opening of Loco Yoko. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally opening. We're very excited for Amy. Um, thank you so much for being here on behalf of the mayor, um, our city manager, Teresa Wilson, and our city council members, thank you. Thank you for the support that you give to the small business community. And thank you so much for coming out here to support our newest addition to our Main Street um, um, business district. Today, the mayor is not able to be here. As many of you know, he is the mayor of the United States Council um, Conference, Council of Mayors. And he's not able to be here because they're actually in town. So he's entertaining them right now and they're in conference and he's unable to get away. So on behalf of him, I just wanted to thank you for being here um, and also reiterate the importance that the small businesses and the important role that the small business community play in our local economy. Um, small businesses are very, very, very important here in Columbia. And as all of you know, um, the mayor, our city manager, and our city council members are very, very big advocates of making sure that our small business communities have the resources that they need to thrive and to employ um, local residents here so that we can continue to grow and um, flourish like we have been doing. Um, without any other comments on my behalf, I want to actually welcome to the stage or to the podium our councilman, Mr. Councilman, I'm sorry, Councilman McDowell. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. How excited we are, a new business in our district. District 2 continues to grow, bloom, and blossom. Amy, I want to say thank you to you for your insight. Come on, stand over here with me, come on. She has done a magnificent job in restoring this building, local yokel. Now, it would be interesting, I want you all to look on your program because there is a definition of local yokel. <laughs> look, I've already read the menu, there is an avocado, uh, uh, special there that sounds real delightful and I'm sure if our mayor was here he would say perhaps and would preferably identify something that he's already that he likes on this menu thank you all for coming Amy thank you for what you've done for our city our city continues to grow and that's a blessing so Amy anything we can do on our end you let us know, and after it's all over, we're going to open up. You all go in there and spend a little, I'm sorry, eat some food. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Hello, I am Matt Kennel with the City Center Partnership. We represent all of the property owners and businesses in downtown Columbia and, and work in close partnership with City Council and city staff uh, to make District 2 and this downtown just as good as it can be. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Amy. I've known Amy for some time. We've been talking probably for 10 years about uh, different opportunities downtown. And uh, I am just so excited, not only for Main Street and for downtown Columbia, but for Amy and her staff uh, to be opening up uh, this, this really exciting business. You know, it wasn't too long ago, um, maybe, I think it was in 2007, where the City of Columbia and the City Center Partnership together did a retail study uh, to try to prove that we could bring retail back uh, to downtown Columbia. There were a lot of naysayers. Uh, there were a lot of people that didn't believe it, uh, but many, many people, um, the City Council, the City Center Partnership, and our recruiters, the Office of Business Opportunities, the Economic Development Department of the City, and countless others have worked literally for years to create the environment and bring new retail back to downtown Columbia. In fact, the most recent study, um, Reverend Councilman, uh, that um, was done by Colliers, uh, and we have Colliers representative here with us today, showed that there's only a 3% vacancy right now uh, for retail in the Central Business District. I mean, that's probably from 20% 10 years ago to about 3% today. So it's, it's a wonderful time to be in downtown. Uh, retail is marching down all the way from the State House to now the 1700 block and beyond, connecting into all the exciting things that are happening in North Main Street, uh, which is also uh, 
blooming and blossoming. I, I like that. Uh, I like that word. And uh, we're just so excited about the energy and excitement in Columbia and that all of you can be with us uh, to celebrate that tonight. So, Amy, congratulations. Like the councilman said, the City Center Partnership's here with you all the way uh, to make this a great success. And uh, we're just so excited, you know, to have a bodega, a place to buy not only that prepared food, but to buy groceries in downtown Columbia. Who would have thought that a decade ago? So thank you so much. And on that, uh, Amy, I'd like for you to say a few remarks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that retail study that he referred to is actually a big part of this, uh, how we got this idea. And we had belief that Main Street was going to blossom, and it did, and it's been amazing. And the welcome that we've gotten has been incredible, uh, residents, businesses. Uh, but the biggest uh, thing I can't brag enough about is uh, City OBO, City Center Partnership uh, have been incredible. This project would have never, ever happened without them. Uh, they stuck with me, as everybody knows. It took a long time. This was a true labor of love. I look like it today. Um, we're in about three or four years of work on this building, but they stuck with me. They've supported us. Um, I can't sing their praises enough. I tell everybody that will listen to see OBO, talk to the city, talk to City Center Partnership. I've just never experienced that much support um, from government and city and City Center Partnership. It's incredible. Uh, we're very grateful that everybody hung with us. Um, we hope y'all like it. Uh, we hope you'll understand this is our first day. We're getting used to everything and breaking staff in. <laughs> Absolutely, please spend some money, of course. Um, you have to pay back all these good people. <laughs> but, um, but thank y'all all so much, and thank you to the city and everybody for coming out in this weather. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Brett Whiting. I'm the loan officer uh, for the City of Columbia, Office of Business Opportunities. I just want to say that I'm extremely excited and proud um, of Amy and her vision and seeing this thing to fruition. Um, Amy, very early on, I am pretty new with the, with the city. Very early on, um, Melissa and I took a site visit out here, um, and we were both fairly new to the city, or to our office, and we saw this thing as a shell. We didn't see what, what Amy saw and what it uh, has, has become. But it is a wonderful place, um, and it's a prime example of, of what the Office of Business Opportunity has uh, to offer the city uh, in terms of uh, support. Uh, we are here. We have programs, several different programs to fit certain needs, um, whatever that might be. Um, if, if we can't ourselves do it, we're here as a resource to um, uh, help you with getting whatever it is that you need to get your business started and to flourish. Uh, I'd like to close by saying um, I spoke to Amy when I, when I came in this afternoon and saw it all put together. And I'm not a native Colombian. I, um, I was born and raised in New York City. So bodegas were not uh, foreign. Uh, uh, concept to be, uh, but I have to say, this is the best looking bodega I've ever been in in my entire life. I'd like to again congratulate uh, Amy, and as I said on the first day that that we met, um, we were here to support her uh, to begin with, and we're still here to support her with anything we can help with in the future. Thank you. Thank you.